I wasn't going to post any videos for a couple of days. I am fighting a sinus cold right now, um, but I couldn't sleep and I was bored and so I wanted to make this video for you guys. So I picked this up at Rule King. Okay, and what this thing is made for is for airsoft to protect my face and protect my eyes and my ears. Okay, this was $15. Now it may not be the best quality. But for right now, just getting started, this is what I went with. Um, so inside, guys, you guys are going to get a pair of... Safety goggles. Okay. That are actually anti-fog safety goggles. And they do have foam lining on the inside. And these things are super comfortable when I wore them for the pictures yesterday. The next thing you guys are going to get <clears throat> is a neoprene uh, mask that is reversible. So I can wear the black side or I can wear the predator side. And to be honest, the predator side looks really, really cool. Now I'm not wearing my hat, obviously, for this video. And that's the reason why you also get some made in china things and some uh, instructions on how to wear the face mask and all that stuff is the neo now i'm just getting started in airsoft so the neoprene option probably isn't the best but it'll work for trying to protect my face I would like to get a mesh one, but nowhere around where I live sells the mesh one. And I just happened to see this at Rule King the other day, so I figured I'd pick it up. So let's put it on. <clears throat> Start with the goggles. The goggles have an adjustment strap right here. Real easy to adjust. Alright, real easy to adjust. Go on my head. Cover everything up. Now, these are tinted, so it's really nice, so everything looks darker right here, okay? If I wear a hat, the band goes over real easy, okay? And then, you guys look right up in here, there's all kinds of, I'll show you from the back to you. There's vent holes in there to breathe, there's a nose hole, um, and there's holes right here for airflow, if you guys can tell. So this thing is going to want to go over your nose. And I'm going to try to get it as close to, well, that didn't even work right. hang on. I'm going to try to cover as much of this skin right here as I possibly can with it. That way, it doesn't, so that way I don't get hit in the face by as many BBs. Now. One thing that may be a disadvantage, okay, is the moisture in here whenever you start to talk. It also muffles my voice a little bit. So communication on the field may not be as good. And now, it's, uh, hold on, now it's being a turn. There we go. I got it as good as I'm going to get it at the moment. So. So here we go, guys. Um, may not be the best fitting thing right now. I'm definitely going to have to play with it to adjust it. 
But other than that, it's going to protect a little bit of my ears. This is only a half mask. It's not a full mask. It's going to protect some of my neck. Um, I'm just going to have to get used to adjusting it and wearing it and all that stuff. But I think it's going to work pretty well for just starting out here. There are these Velcro enclosures on either side. I didn't talk about those earlier. Let me try this one more time. I don't want to get it too tight, but like I can already feel the moisture coming up on. And that could be a downside as you're breathing in it. The it getting the moisture in there. But y'all, this has just been a short little review on the Game Face protection set, the Predator version. And I think it looks really cool. So y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. Um, I plan on doing the AK versus AR-15 Airsoft Edition video tomorrow morning. We're going to be going to Clarksville, the Bass Pro Shops today, so I'm not going to be posting any more videos today. So y'all remember, Jesus loves you, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.